Hi there guys, my name is John from ActiveJR.com and in this video I'm doing a unboxing of the Apple Watch Series 3. Apple Watch Series 3 is pretty much the same as the Apple Watch Series 2 and Series 1 with the addition of the mobile uh, calling capability. Now this version I've got here is not the mobile calling capability uh, simply because the mobile network that I'm on in the UK doesn't support the Apple Watch uh, 3. Uh, so before I get into the main unboxing video, I just wanted to give you a flavour of the videos I'm going to bring it out for the Apple Watch Series 3. So a lot of people will be focusing on the smart features and the overall um, experience of using the Apple Watch Series 3. And in my opinion, I think some of those people are wasting their time because the Apple Watch Series 2 has already been well covered and the Apple Watch Series 3 is pretty much the same. So my reviews will be focusing on the fitness features that have come with Watch OS 4 which are available for the Apple Watch Series 3 and the Apple Watch Series 2. Uh, now these features are things like uh, resting heart rate, recovering heart rate, uh, the new heart rate settings, uh, the new fitness features in terms of uh, the multi-sport and also the swimming features. So if you are not already subscribed, then please subscribe to my channel because those videos will be coming out over the next week. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much for doing that and you'll get a notification when the uh, videos come out. And also, if you want something covering or you've got a particular question about the Apple Watch Series 3, then leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you with an answer uh, as soon as I find out uh, based on my usage. So guys, thanks very much. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so starting with the unboxing, the box is exactly the same as the uh, previous Series 2 and Series 1. So I'm just going to take off uh, this cellophane that came with it and uh, then just move on. So open up the box, it's uh, presented exactly the same way as the previous Series 2 uh, with uh, all the instruction manuals in this top section here. And then uh, in the bottom, or, or sorry, middle section, is the Apple Watch Series 3. Now, um, I got the aluminium version because I've already owned the Series 2 in stainless steel. And as you can see, it's got this um, uh, cellophane wrapper around. Uh, looking at inside the box, you've got the uh, charger, which has got the um, fold away pins, and then the um, charging uh, dock, which is the um, wireless charging magnetic dock. Then inside the instruction box, you've got the instructions which uh, show you how to set up your Apple Watch and um, all the various different warranty things. And then along with the um, spare, smaller uh, strap. Now moving on to setting up the Apple Watch, uh, all you need to do is open up the um, watch app on the iPhone and then you then um, place the this box over the Apple Watch which is showing this animation then once it's aligned you then uh, go through the various setup screens now I'm going to choose a set, a set it with a new Apple Watch if you've already got a previous Apple Watch you can uh, restore from backup and then I'm going to wear it on my right list because I already wear another um, device on my other wrist and then I'm going to choose the orientation as you can see of the crown. Now I'm going to speed up this section because it does take a bit of time. Then you accept the uh, terms and conditions and then it will then go through the setup process. Once it's set up you can then um, finish off the setup process. Now I'm choosing not to share my details uh, I'm going to sh uh, share my settings and I'm going to set up a passcode later just for the benefit of this unboxing. And the final thing is the emergency SOS, which you've also got. And then, yeah, I'm going to install all, all the apps which are available from my iPhone. Now, one of the things that is different is uh, whilst it's setting up, uh, before it was just uh, stayed on a fixed screen, or, well, apart from my battery being at 20%, uh, you've also uh, got the option to quickly go through some um, basic tutorials to how to use the screen, how to use the um, crown, and how to use the home button. Now, I think this is um, pretty good to give someone an orientation. This is uh, slightly different to the previous Apple Watch 2 setup. Um, and um, it will it will certainly give people a good overview of how to interact with the Apple Watch for the first time once it's set up. 
Now, once the Apple Watch is set up, it will show you this screen. And all you do then is press the crown and it takes you to the um, main watch face. Now you can swap these watch faces out. I will uh, cover this in a different review. Uh, but as you can see, the screen is really beautiful. It's a really nice screen, really clear. And um, I think it's one of the best uh, screens that I've used. It's, it's the same as the Apple Watch Series 2, so no difference. Now, I turn it on to its back. You've also got the heart rate sensor. And this is the same heart rate sensor that's in the Series 2 and in the Series 1, so no difference there. And then this is what it looks like on the wrist. Uh, you can see... It just looks uh, really nice, um, it's uh, really discreet, and it's really comfortable. So my first impressions, the Apple Watch Series 3 looks exactly the same as the Apple Watch Series 2. Uh, in terms of design, again, it's exactly the same. There is some hardware differences in, uh, inside. There is a new uh, processing chip, and uh, the battery life is exactly the same. Now, obviously, with the LTE mobile version, you can make phone calls from it when your phone is not in reach. In terms of uh, features, the, the Watch OS 4 also works with the Series 2, so um, uh, feature-wise, there's no real difference at all. So my personal advice, if you've already got a Series 2 or you're thinking about getting a Series 3 and you don't really need mobile calling, then I suggest you go for the Series 2 because you get all the same features in terms of fitness and smart features as you get in the Series 3. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe if you've not already done so because I've been bringing other videos around the fitness features of the Apple Watch Series 3. Thanks very much, and I'll speak to you soon.